Not sure if you got my reference there, but just like Pokemon, products evolve over time to become stronger and better. The same can be said for Valorant's Markov Pro gloves. I've had the version 1 for a few years now, and look where we are today. We have version 3. In today's video, I'll be talking about the upgrades made to the Markov Pro series. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. So for this review, not only will I be telling you what the features of the gloves are, I will also be putting them through a series of tests to see how they hold up. Just a disclaimer, Valorant did send over these gloves, but this is not a sponsored video. As with all my reviews, you can expect a 100% honesty and Valorant does not have a say into what goes into these videos. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The unique selling point of the Markov Pro V3 and most of Valorant gloves is that it has flip tech finger caps. This is so that you can have physical contact when you do that iconic ET scene. I'm kidding. The huge benefit of having this feature is that we have instant access to our camera dials without having to expose the rest of our hands to the bitter cold. If you ever had to dial in the settings of a camera with gloves on, you know how valuable this feature is. This doesn't just benefit photographers though. Let's hear what my wife thinks about this. I love that I can use my phone as I normally would with this. Other gloves might have touchscreen capabilities, but I find that nothing works as well as my fingers. The next selling point of this glove is its non-slip grip. If you're holding $5,000 worth of equipment in your hands, you sure as hell don't want to lose hold of that. There is no way to properly show this on camera, but the grip you get with this glove is unlike any other gloves I've had. Take a look at this experiment I devised. On the back side of the glove, if I run an item over its surface, it just slides right over. However, when I flip it over and run it along the grippy surface, it just clings onto the item and moves along with it. And I swear, I am barely applying any pressure to it. The cherry on top of this cake? The grip features an image. And you know how we creatives like this artsy fartsy stuff. The gloves also come with a pocket that is super useful to store stuff. It comes embedded with a tripod key, so I can leave behind my camera tool which is rather heavy. My only wish is that it includes the hex key that you find on so many base plates as well. As I mentioned earlier, this is Mark III of this model. So what upgrades have there been since the older models? Let's take a look at that now. One big thing they did was to introduce two new sizes. If you're someone like my wife, who has really small hands, the previous sizing options would probably not fit you as well. With the new XS Slim and the S Slim, her gloves now fit snugly on her hands. Sizing is also now universally spread across their whole lineup of gloves, so if you're M in this model, you'll be an M in all the other models. Another big upgrade is the insulation material. Gen 2 had Tinsulate C40 all around, while Gen 3 has C70 on the front and C100 on the back of your hand. This provides improved warmth with an unnoticeable change in dexterity. Some other improvements were made to the flip tag as well. The new design keeps the gaps closed better, and stronger magnets keep it in place when open. It may sound small, but it is much appreciated. Another upgrade on the glove is the zipper. It is a waterproof zipper and an easy slide slider. Speaking of waterproof, my Gen 1 gloves got soaked through when I was caught in the downpour. I am curious to see if this would perform better in the rain, so let's test it out. For this experiment, I would put a piece of tissue paper in the storage compartment and paper towels next to my hands. I would then turn on my shower head, which has a really strong water pressure, and let it run to see how it holds up. After a reasonable amount of time, let's check out the results. To my surprise, the tissue paper in the storage compartment remained relatively dry. That wasn't the case for the paper towel at the back of my hand. The cuff of the glove is not water resistant, and some water seeped in that way. Nevertheless, 
the tip of my fingers remained dry and so did the paper towel that is under my hand. To be fair to Valorant, the Markov glove is only marketed as weather resistant and will only shield you against light rain. What I put it through was definitely more than that. I have no doubt that your hands will stay dry in light rain and then some. Just as long as you have a rain jacket on that covers beyond the calves. If you want something that is truly waterproof, take a look at my review of the Milford gloves. That model comes included with a shell that is essentially a rain cover for your hands. Moving on to the next upgrade, the glove now has a true suede lens wipe. What can this do? If you ever find any lens or screen dirty or oily, instead of having to dig around for a lens cloth, just use what's already on your hands, literally. Let me show you. I am now going to dirty my phone screen with the oil on my face. And here is how it looks after simply wiping it away. Convenient, isn't it? Lastly, the clip buckle. The old clip is replaced with a clip buckle to make pairing them up or separating them much more convenient. The new Markov gloves comes with an updated look, which I wouldn't really call an upgrade, but more of a refresh on its appearance. You can tell the difference, most notably in the cuff. Truth be told, I like the Gen 1's look the most because it is all black. I'm basic that way. But that's more of a personal preference. It would be great if they had the exact same model, but have different variations in terms of color scheme. Anyway, that's pretty much all the features of the Markov Pro V3 and I love the upgrades that come along with it. I have 4 different pairs of Valorant gloves and they all have a different use case depending on the environment. But I'll have to admit, the Markov is my favourite because of its perfect balance between warmth, dexterity and features. I can use it for 80% of my outdoor situations which is why they are my go-to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. That's pretty much it for today. It's a wrap!